Hey, it's Martin the Guitar Guy here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be looking at something really exciting, and that is cheat chords in the key of C major or A minor. I'm gonna show you my favorite cheat chords coming up real soon, so stick around. Alright, so let's get into it. What are cheat chords to start with? But before I even say that, I just need to remind you who I am. I'm Mark the Guitar Guy. I'm the man that helps you play better, sound better, and feel better about your playing so that you can feel good too. And others can enjoy it. So what's better than that? Also, you make your smell slightly better. I don't know why. It just does, it works that way. Let's get into it. Chords in the key of C, I'm gonna show you some really beautiful stuff. I'm gonna play through some stuff. Have a listen to this. If you don't like it, go to have a listen to something else. I think you're gonna love what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna be playing the key of C. I'm gonna start off with just change, getting right into the cheat chords straight away. Not mucking around, let's just get into it. I'm gonna play something really pretty and then I'm gonna show you what I'm doing and how we can make your chords sound more awesome. Let's do it. <laughs> How beautiful are those chords? So let's get into it. Let's show you exactly what's going on. Now, normally in the key of C, these are the basic chords, right? You remember these old chords? Here's your typical C, your typical F, your typical A minor, and your typical G. Okay, this is just the four chords. We've got more chords in the key of C, but I'm just gonna show you those ones, how what I'm doing those. If we take a normal three-fingered C chord, put our little finger on the bottom note, bottom string there, bottom note, Bottom string, third fret. We are already most of the way there. In fact, we're there. That's all we're doing for the C. There's nothing too extreme about it, but it's kind of cool, I like that. But if we keep those two notes at the bottom there, meaning the little finger and the first finger here for our F chord, I'll show you what we're doing with the F. Now the F will take a little bit more practice to get going if you've never done this shape before. But we're not gonna do a low thumb bar chord like we do when we're normally doing bar chords. We're just gonna keep our thumb in the same position, thumb hooked over the top there for the C, not too far over, just at the top. And we're gonna bring that thumb over to play the F note. So that's gonna be playing the first fret on the top string. The way we do that was we bring the thumb over and we just pull back slightly. We don't don't have to go right over the guitar and do this. We just go over and put the little chubby bit like my cheeks, put the little chubby bit of my fingers over there and then pull back on that note. So there's my C, I'm adding that. Now all I'm doing with the, the other part of my chord here, I'm bringing that third finger down one string. So it's playing third fret on the fourth string, okay? Third fret, fourth string, you'll see that in the tabs. And then if you want to, if you've got a good enough finger here, you can cover two notes there. I'll show that nice and good on the camera. Two notes, you can actually cover two. Sometimes do that, but the main one I'm going for is this and then I cancel out this note above it, naturally. You end up with this. Or if you get both those notes, you can sometimes get this chord here. I'm like 50-50 with that. And then you've got this open string ringing on the G. The open G string is ringing. And the other two fingers are still there from the C. So you've got this lovely droning F chord. So I'm going from a C chord to an F chord. Takes a bit of getting used to those two chords. That's the hardest one, the rest aren't, aren't too hard. Now the A minor is really simple. All we're doing is putting our A minor together. Here's my A minor, my little finger stays right where it was and I'm just doing an A minor seven by lifting my little finger, my third finger I should say, off. And I'm playing from the fifth string down, too easy. And then the G, I leave my little finger right where it is and I'm doing a G with the back three fingers but I'm adding this chord shape here. So what I'm doing is, here's my normal G, so third fret, second fret, third fret, and then I'm bringing the second finger down here, down a string to the next string down on the second fret, so it's on the fourth string, which is the D string on the second fret, and my first fingers, they're basically doing an A minor seven down here. So remember the A minor seven we had there with the little finger, I'm basically doing that, but we've got a G bass note. That's probably the easy way to say it, Mark. Why don't you just explain it that way to the, <sighs> frustrating. Sort your act out. So here's my G. I'm just cancelling out that fifth string. Nothing too crazy. So you're killing it. I don't want to hear that fifth string. Otherwise, I'm going to get an A string ring. I'm going to get a, there it is. It's going to ruin my chord. And I like to use that chord to get between the two. So what I like to do is hold a G in this way and then get used to practicing this little change. Basically, an A minor seven with a G bass is one way to look at it. It's got a whole bunch of different names, these chords. 
So these are the chords. So if I go back through them, we've got a C, F, A minor, and then a G. And then we can use some awesomizing. So what I'm gonna do next is go through what I've just done there, and I'm just gonna strum it gently, show you what I'm doing there, and then we're gonna add to it the cool little on-off awesomizing that I'm so famous for. I'm famous for it, aren't I? Mum. Mum? She's not listening. Here's my C. What did I do there? I lifted my second finger off and on, and I got this. So I'm lifting it off, putting it on. Simple as that. All I'm doing, sometimes I can do it like a hammer on. I'm strumming. So you can hear it just in there, and I like doing that kind of stuff in there. Same, and then with the F, I like bringing that second finger in and off. I bring it off, I leave it off. I like bringing it in, so that second finger is now on the third string, second fret. A minor seven, you can do the same thing as we did with the C. That second finger, same string. And then the G. We had that kind of concept going on with that G. Sounds kind of cool, right? So I'll go through that and add that in. Let's have a listen to it. So I did a few little things there where it's slightly different actually. In the G, in the G, I actually left my finger here. I didn't even bring my second finger down for that one. It still sounds good. So I've got G, that's one option. I can bring my first finger back into the position it was for the rest of the chords. And I can then add my second finger to it as well as just being standard G. Bunch of options going on there. One more thing I need to tell you, and that's what's happening in the right hand. It's what I'm doing in there, the strum pattern. This is my favorite pattern, man. This is the ballad strum, right? The ballad, I call it the ballad strum. I named it that just to help me out with my students so they could know what strum we were doing. And it's the one that's got this down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. Now it's four, four, but it's got this kind of syncopation going on it. Dun, da, da, dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun. And the way I do that is I'm quite feathery when I'm playing this. Very, very lightly holding this pick. Some of those notes, if I just give you the feathery ghost notes, literally feathering the strings. It's so light, I'm holding this pick so light and I'm only delicately brushing, just gently brushing like, like a, the breeze over the top of that. Do you hear what I did then? It's pretty, the breeze, getting poetic. <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of breezy, feathery playing over the top of it. And that's where I get my, you can bring in more accents that way. So the quieter you play, believe it or not, the more dynamics you have because you've got a lot more volume just by digging in if you want to. And I'm only feathering a few strings and it's possibly just only those three strings at the bottom that you're really hearing. You're hearing the chord at the beginning to give you the chord and then I'm feathering. Here we go again. And if I want to do it like a, I can hit it a little bit harder to get a riff out. So there's a bit of extra stuff here. So there we have it, some really cool things just in the key of C or A minor using some really basic chords. There's some other chords we can cover, but that's enough for now guys. I don't wanna overwhelm you. You know what to do. If you love this sort of stuff, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you wanna be a Patreon, I put all this stuff, my tabs and stuff are available on Patreon, as well as these videos I do like a snippet of what I'm gonna be doing coming up, all sorts of other things. I'm giving every week, I put new things for you to practice. So little tidbits of ideas that you can work on right throughout the week. So you don't have to think about what you need to practice for the week. All that's Sort of stuff. I love you guys. God bless you all. I can't wait to see you in the next one.